Despite their ecological success, Annamites went completely extinct around 60 million years ago. This is especially confusing considering their smooth shell, distant cousins still populate the Indian and Pacific Oceans today. And if we look at the evolutionary timescale, even ancestral forms can be traced back to the Devonian period around 400 million years ago. These ancestral forms make up the Ammonoids, beginning with the Goniatites, then the Ceratites, and finally, the Ammonites. As of today, the Ammonoids' extensive evolutionary history accounts for over 8,000 species. Based on the geological diversity, there seems to be a sharp decline at the end of the Cretaceous, which is roughly the same time that dinosaurs began to disappear. Temporally, this is relevant because the KT extinction event is highly attributed to an increase in volcanic activity. Over this time, it is theorized that the ocean became more acidic, leading to the breakdown of aragonite shells. Back to the original question, today's abundance of nautiloids and absence of ammonites is theorized to be a product of the inherent habitat differences. It is speculated that since nautiloids inhabit a deep ocean environment, this shielded the nautiloids from terrestrial and atmospheric change such as the KT extinction event.